I need to step out. Come on. Come on. No? Yes. I don't want to take you to jail tonight. I can smell it come from your breath. I already know what's going on. I'm not pushing buttons. You're starting to push my buttons already. Body cam video shows IMPD officers drunk driving arrest. This is Brandon, AKA the Port City Attorney. Crash wise, what happened? He rolled up to his truck. He said, well, he was parked. Mm -hmm. He came up on him and passed out. Okay, so he didn't hit anything. Well, it's there. we don't know if it's there any damage. He hit the front bumper, he hit the rear bumper of that truck. But we can't, I can't see it. Dang, they just rolled up. Didn't change nothing. He was passed out. Not great. Not great. Obviously, what they're doing right now is they're documenting the crash so that they can use it as evidence in court before they move the guy's Jeep, try to find the driver of the truck, notify them, do all those things. So they got to document the crime scene before they clean it up. Is there anybody else in his car? Just him? Yeah. So who's the one that rolled up on him? In, uh, which one you guys rolled up on? This young right here? Were you the one that rolled up on him? Yeah. Okay. Can you give me a statement about it? Briefly, what happened though? What did you see? So we're checking for spots over here where you roll up on him and he has his car on. If he slumped over, uh, we knocked on the window and he just wasn't waking up. Okay. Um, refusing to get out of the car and all that. So, and then obviously he's gone. No. Did he make any statements to you or anything like that? No, he. No, he just, he couldn't talk. He was like just mumbling. He's mumbled? Yeah. All right, so if you're wondering what's going on here, a lot of states and a lot of local jurisdictions will actually call the state police or the state troopers, whatever they're called in your state or jurisdiction, to come and handle a DWI or an OWI or DUI, whatever the driving under the influence charge is, because a lot of those state troopers, that's pretty much what they do. They conduct field sobriety tests, crashes, crash reconstruction, all those things and they have jurisdiction throughout the state right so a lot of times this is what will happen a local municipality police officer or sheriff's deputy might roll up on somebody that is impaired they'll call it in ask for a state trooper they'll give a statement they would have to go to court and set you know to establish probable cause like hey what did you see because the state trooper can't go in there and say yeah well the other officer said he rolled up and he was asleep behind the car that's that's hearsay right he's going to get a statement from him and they will both be subpoenaed so that officer right there will be subpoenaed just to establish what he saw, right? He came up, slumped over, mumbled speech, smelled like alcohol. State troopers got there. They conducted the rest. Now the state troopers are going to do this field sobriety test, or they're going to ask for the warrant to draw blood. They're going to do all that. They're going to do all the heavy lifting. So if you wondered why the one cop is interviewing the other, that's, that's typically why, because they will hand off and farm out those DWI things because A, the city cops usually have, you know, like gunfights and stuff to get into and B, because state troopers are pretty well versed in OWI and DWI cases. Okay. Um, did you get to see his eyes, anything like that? No. Is I there... just I just smelled it. Okay. Was there anything in the vehicle? Like, do you see, like, on the floorboard and the set kind of yeah, folder? Yeah, he, he has that bottle of vodka in yeah. the vehicle that we observed. Is it open? Yeah. Okay. Or, it, I, I think I don't know right. much I just is a bottle of vodka look. next to him. Well, he had a bottle of vodka next to him? Yeah, it was in the, it was right next to him. Yeah. Okay, in the seat. Uh, kind of like it's big enough where it covered the seat and like and the other reason why this guy might have called is because if you see on her jacket, it says WSU. My assumption is that they are university police. They don't deal with DWIs, so they would always farm something like this out. Okay. Floor. I, see what you're I, I saw cans, but I think that, I don't think that's alcohol. I think it's like energy drinks or whatnot. Okay. We'll, I'll figure it out in a minute. We'll he's, he's in that vehicle? Yeah. yeah that's our guy on duty, on. like normal duty. Yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. we're doing the event. 
Did you need OH3s from us? If We're the would, ones that discovered Yeah, if it. you wouldn't mind, um, if you could write me out something on there and then contact information for you all and who you are so I can get in touch with you about it. Uh, all right. Okay. All right, now be right back. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm? Okay. 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 So he's been cooperative. What's his name? So you do have a phone number there. You said your wife's number is in your phone. I need a phone number. So what's your phone number? We'll get that from the phone. Yeah. Now I'm going to work on it. I've never been a cop, but my assumption would be it's very much like the military where city cops, municipality cops, troopers probably distinguish and delineate themselves from university cops, just like the military where like, hey, active duty versus reserve versus National Guard. You notice how they're like, hey, buddy, we'll take care of this. Just get out of our way. We let the real cops in to do the work. Hey, man, university cops got kids to bust for underage drinking, okay? They're busy. Well, I, I got to do a, I got to get a little bit of information. He's doing it. You don't come no, with. You just don't come with me. I'm not. I'm not trying to. Be, I'm not. All right, let's fall. Let's fall. All right, man. I'm Trooper Garner. How's it going? All right, you're gonna come out here with me. You're gonna have a seat in my car, okay? I'm gonna talk to you. All right. No, my 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 wife's. Sixty-six. He's grumpy. He just woke up. What's going on tonight? <laughs> Step out here with me. We're going to have a seat in my car, okay? I'm going to talk to you. Hey, brother. Talk to him so he can check. Yeah, come on, man. No, Do as much as he can. You have my phone. Yeah, we got it. No, we're... Okay. we're... Him, let him talk to you that's, in his that's, car. That's all we need. Like, that's no, that's I need you to step need. out. Come on. Come on. No? Yes. Hey, bud. Look. What, we talked about this earlier. I'm going to tell you. When you got here, you were going to cooperate with him. I know you wasn't mm -hmm. with me, but you're going to with him. I don't want to take you to jail tonight. Okay. That's, and we told but you that. But if you're going to push my buttons, we'll go straight to jail. I'm not kidding with you, okay? I understand what's going on. I can smell it come from your breath. I already know what's going on. I'm not pushing buttons. You're starting to push my buttons already. If you're going to be compliant, be compliant. If not, sir. we can go to jail. Sir. And you can figure it out later. Okay, I'm trying to be polite with you, but you're not wanting to look me in the eye. You're not even wanting to speak to me. Ask you your name, you just look down. Okay. Peter Fagus. Peter Fagus. Okay. Fagus. Yeah. Okay. I'm F Trooper Gardner. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm Trooper Gardner. Right, I'm gonna have you step out with me, or we're gonna go back to my patrol car. Okay. So please step out, because I can have them transport you to jail, and I can just meet them there. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. So would you like to step out now? I mean, what are the odds that this guy's not going to jail, right? I mean, he's obviously intoxicated. They found him behind the wheel of a vehicle, and he ra like crashed into something. There's no scenario where he doesn't go to jail. So I don't understand why they keep saying that. Come on, man. Stick just, with him. Just work Stick with me. Stick with him. Stick with him. Just, just work with me, okay? All right, step out, man. <clears throat> Need help. No, I'm good. Okay. I'm that far back here. You injured or anything? No, Taking medications, anything no, like that? No? Okay. Do your contacts or glasses? Stop here for a minute. All right, I'm gonna take a look at your eyes. All right. Something we wanted to do. No. I'm sorry. I'm gonna take a look at your eyes. Is that okay? Is that yes. something you're willing to do? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put your feet together for me. All right. See the tip of my pen. Okay. I. If it is something you're willing to do. Hey, look. Uh, predicate predicated on whether or not you take any tests or anything is not right. how I determine. The, 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 yeah, but these are SF. SDs. Correct. Right. I'm going to explain it to you real quick, though, okay? Whether or not you refuse it is not predicated on whether or not you go to jail. Your attitude determines that with me, okay? I'll be up front with you. As long as you're polite and cooperative, I'll work with you to get you home, okay? But if you're going to be a pain to me... I'm not being a pain. Let me finish. 
if you're going to be a pain about stuff and not let me do my job, we'll just go to jail and I'll solve the problem for myself. That's how I do it, okay? So if you don't want to take this, you don't have to. You know that legally, as the rest of us do here. I have to offer it to you. I have to try to do what I can do, okay? I clearly see that you've been drinking. I can smell it on your breath. Okay. All right, I just see your right bloodshot and glassy eyes. They found your slump over the wheel. I'm just trying to do my due diligence and check. You don't have to, but if you do, that's all I'm trying to do. So it's entirely up to you whether or not that's something you want to do, okay? It's entirely up to you. I'm asking if that's something you want to do or no. No? Okay. Would you notice that cops don't take the SFSTs whenever they've suspected of a drinking while driving offense? There's a reason for that. I say it every video. I say, hey, look, if you don't have to take them, you shouldn't take them. You notice that the cop doesn't take it. So the lawyer's telling you not to take it and the cop doesn't take it. I mean, come on. What more do you need? Real quick, I just wanted to say that Attorney Tom slash Attorney Reacts content is now on Spotify. We just launched a partnered show. Link in the description. Go check it out. Now, back to the video. Okay, because you're cuffed in the front, you're a bigger guy, probably have a hard time trying to get behind your back. Yeah. I'm going to have my cuffs on you instead, so I can give the gentleman back his, okay? And I'll say the other way. Other way. I don't know what the other way and Have your palm facing in. Oh, uh, it's stuck. If you clap your hands together, it's going to be a lot less tension is what I'm trying to do. Yeah, no, I know. Located the owner of the other car. See, see what she did. All right. I asked her to do it. find the owner of the other car and everything else. All right. Do you have anything on you to worry about? Mm. No. Okay. You got anything on you to prove it? Poke me or cut me? All right, I'm telling you right now, you're on arrest for operating a vehicle impaired tonight, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can't be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before advice, before asking any questions. If you can't afford a lawyer, want to be appointed for you, provide any questions so desired. If you wish to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you have the right to stop answering questions at any time. You also have the right to stop answering questions at any time to you talk to your lawyer, you understand? Well, that was sort of uneventful. However, there is an important takeaway from this video. You've seen me say it time and time again. Most jurisdictions do not require for you to take the SFSTs, the standardized field sobriety tests, on the roadside. There's no requirement. There's no implied consent offense if you don't take them in a lot of jurisdictions. Same thing with the PBT, the portable breath test, a little breathalyzer. If they ask you to blow that on the side of the road, most jurisdictions you don't have to because it's inadmissible in court. Besides, they can say whether or not that the test indicated whether alcohol is present or not. The one thing you do have to do or you risk a one year license suspension in most jurisdictions is the intoxilizer down at the station. It's a really big breath test. It's calibrated, all those things. If you don't take that test, in a lot of jurisdictions, they will automatically suspend your license for one year and they're going to have to get a warrant to get a blood draw in order to check your levels to see if you were operating while intoxicated. What do y'all think? Do you think that people should take these standardized field sobriety tests on the side of the road? Do you think there's a benefit to it? Or do you think that you should just let them try to process you and check it at the station if you blow zeros to let you go? Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, share, do all the things. We'll see you next time. Big Verdict.